It's good to see you again on this lovely Monday. Um, I have all kinds of feelings about the door. I'm de I feel depressed for some reason. I'm just like, can I just have one project in this house go the way it's supposed to? Can I just have one thing go right? For the love of God, you know, even having my, t my shower resurfaced, I, even, I ended up with a problem with that, with the plumbing which is a whole other story for another day, but I ended up with trouble getting the plumbing, getting the faucet and everything put back in. You know, can I just, can I just have one project just go the way it's supposed to do? You know, I order a door, pay for a door, they put it in and then go away and we all live happily ever after. Why can't I have that? It's, they had one job. I don't think I'm asking for too much. I don't think I'm being unreasonable to say, why can't you just do that? Um, so, okay, I'm going to give you a little update on it. So, yeah, I can close and lock the front door, but in order to do that, the storm door has to remain kind of ajar, like it won't, you can't shut it. So you can shut one door at a time. Like if you want to close the storm door, you can, but you can't shut the front door. You cannot have both of them closed at the same time. This is a problem for me. <laughs> this is a problem. So I called the company back as soon as I realized what was going on. And I didn't realize it until the guys had left because the door was very dirty. It looked awful. It had like stuff all over it. There was dust and it just, it just looked really bad. So I thought, I'm going to clean this door before I close the front door and go on with my day. So I, I took time to clean it. I ended up having to get my squeegee out to really get it to look good. Oh, the other thing that really pissed me off, there was a sticker on the glass and I went to peel it off and it didn't, it, like a third of it came off and the rest of it tore. And I ended up having to use Goo Gone and a little spatula to get the rest of it off. It was stuck on there so hard. That was, that was annoying too. Um, so anyway, I called them. And nobody answered, so I left a message and explained the situation like, you know, look, I can't shut my front door when the storm door is sh shut. And uh, please call me back. Well, they called me back about an hour and a half later. They called me about 2.30. And I talked to Courtney at Windows, Window World of the Triad. Her name is Courtney. I talked to Courtney. And Courtney goes, well, see... Here's the thing, your door will shut. The problem is there's air between the two doors because you have seals and you probably just not pressing hard enough. I said, you literally cannot shut it. I am familiar with, you know, you have to push a little harder. I'm familiar with that. That is not the situation. It literally won't close. You cannot close it. You could get the Hulk out here to push on it and it wouldn't close. I'm not too stupid to know how to operate a door. Well, I, you know, well, you know, we can get somebody to come out there and look at it. I said, that'd be great. So this was about 2.30 this afternoon. And she said, we can get the guy that was out there. We can get him to come back. He will arrive at your house this evening between 5 and 5.30. I said, I have somewhere I have to be at 6 o'clock this evening. And I did. I said, I have to leave here by 5.45. So... If he arrives here at 5.30, he may not have time to really do anything before I have to go. And I know I have to be here when, when y'all do stuff. And she said, so you say you don't want him to come? I said, I'm not wording it like I don't want him to come. I'm telling you, I have somewhere I have to be tonight, and I'm not going to be here after 5.45. So if he's coming between 5 and 5.30, if he did like he did this morning, he was supposed to come between 8 and 10. He showed up at 10 o'clock on the dot. So if he comes at 5.30 on the dot, he's going to have 15 minutes to fix this door before I have to go or figure out what to do about it. She said, so you're saying you don't want him to come today. I said, I want him to come today, but not at that time because it's not convenient for me. I did not know that getting this storm door put on would end up being a thing where I had to be free literally all day. I have somewhere I got to go. She said, well, let me look at the schedule. The soonest he can get back out there is Wednesday. So if he doesn't come tonight, he's, he won't be able to come till Wednesday. I said, well, then I guess he's just going to have to come on Wednesday because I have somewhere i got to be this evening. Sorry. 
well, so you want me to put you, but put him down to, you know, come over on Wednesday? I said, I guess. It'd be nice if he could come before then, but I can't, I can't force him to do anything. I can't change anything. So I'm going to have to be okay with it. So the guy is supposed to come back out here Wednesday morning. Again, between 8 and 10. So he'll be here about 10 a.m. And in the meantime, I am concerned. Hopefully we won't have a high wind because if a high wind catches that storm door, it's going to blow it open. Let's just hope that doesn't happen. Although I will say this storm door and the door itself are way better quality than what I had. The storm door especially. It is a lot thicker and a lot heavier. It is, it's the door I wanted. It's, it's great. I just can't shut it if the front door is shut. That's a little problem. And I'm going to have to get the threshold fixed again. I'm going to have to go through the threshold ordeal again because I have naked bricks sticking up. So anyway, they tried to make it sound like I just didn't know how to shut a door. And I said, no, that's not it. So anyway, he's supposed to come back on Wednesday. I know I, I do want to contact Better Business Bureau or Two Wants to Know or somebody. But the thing is, I have to resolve the issue first. Like, I have to see this through. And for some reason, I just get this feeling that we're nowhere near done. He won't come out here and fix this thing in 10 minutes. No, if I had to guess, I, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a guess here, just based on my, my experience trying to get anything done at this house. He's gonna come out here and say, yeah, we can't fix this. This is not something we can fix. And I'm gonna tell you what it is too. The, uh, the handle on the storm door hits the deadbolt on the front door. They, they can't, there's not enough room for both of them in there. The storm door is too close to the front door. It won't shut. And that's what I was trying to explain to her. I said, I think that's what it is. That handle, because I, I looked at it. I, I went outside and tried to shut it and I was looking in there. That handle on that storm door is buttoned up against the deadbolt on the front door. And there's nowhere for it to go. There's not enough room to shut it. You can't shut them both at the same time. There's not enough space. One would think they would take that into account when measuring stuff and would go, you know, well, it needs to be this deep in order to put these two doors in this doorway. You would think they would measure that. Apparently not. No, I think he's going to come out here and go, yeah, this is going to be way complicated. Um, we actually can't fix this. Sorry. That, that's my guess right now. That's what they're going to say. We can't fix it. Tough shit. It ain't going to be tough shit, but that's what they're going to say. So, but until, until I have completed this process with them, I can't really do anything because if I contact Better Business Bureau or Two Wants to Know or Window World's whatever corporate office, they're going to say, well, is the job complete? Ha, you know, is everything done? Are you done dealing with them? Well, no, because dude's got to come back out here Wednesday and see if he can fix the problem. So... I know some people would say, oh, you're such a stupid woman. Why would you even get these people to do your door? Because I knew two different people who worked with them on other projects, and they were super duper happy. And they said, I know there are bad reviews, but they're, they're an awesome company. We had great dealings. Now, mind you, both people had got windows from them, not a door. It's just I think it was just windows. So... I was told to go to work with them because they were really great and, you know, really, it was going to be a really good experience. That's what I was told. I got, I know I said earlier, I got to quit listening to people. I got to just quit listening to people. Again, also, I think it's this house. I think this house is cursed. I really do. And a big part of the problem is nothing in this house is a standard size. It's like when they were building this neighborhood, they took all the leftover construction materials and used them to cobble together my house because literally nothing here is a standard size. Not even my refrigerator opening is a standard size. It's not. If I need another refrigerator, I'm going to have to special order it from Heart Appliances in downtown Greensboro because Lowe's and uh, Home Depot don't carry refrigerators that will fit. They're all the wrong size. They, they don't have one that fits my uh, the opening. They literally don't because it is such an odd size. When my refrigerator finally dies, I will have to special order a new one. Yes, but I've already talked to Hard Appliances about it, and uh, hopefully they will still have that one available if and when I ever need it. So, honestly, I'm just I'm just ready to be done at this point. 
Um, but I'll let you know what happens. I just wanted to let you know that Courtney at Window World of the Triad thinks I don't know how to shut a door. Well, Courtney can kiss my ass. Now I've got to get in a happy mood and get ready to do a video for my other channel. So thank you for being here. I don't just complain. I do talk about other stuff. But right now this door thing has kind of taken over my life. But tomorrow I'm going to try to not let it bother me. We're doing a baking video tomorrow. We're making fiestata. If you ever had that as your school lunch, we used to have them when I was in school. I love them. I found a recipe to make them. So we're making fiestatas tomorrow. So I'm going to have fun with that. Just forget about that stupid door at least for 24 hours. And then Wednesday I can get back to bitching about the door. Maybe not to you because you're probably sick of hearing about it, but I'll bitch to myself. But thank you so much for being here. I will see you again soon. I hope you have a great night.